There are several differences between home and professional versions of Windows 10. I discovered them after having installed Windows 10 Home on VirtualBox for testing purposes. Absence of Group Policy Editor is an example of this. I must call Group Policy Editor a crucial Windows utility for making or managing settings. Although, you can use Registry Editor to make settings, but it would not be wrong to say that the Windows Registry Editor is designed for veteran and proficient Windows users. It is not easy to use as well as risky to use. While on the other hand, Group Policy Editor is damn easy to use and you can easily revert the settings you made through the Group Policy Editor. Fortunately, there is a solution to this problem and users of Windows 10 Home can enable or install the Group Policy Editor. In today's tutorial, I am going to demonstrate to you how to install the Group Policy Editor in Windows 10 Home. Let's begin today's video. First of all, you need to install Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5. I recommend you to watch my previous tutorial that I had created on the installation process of Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5. As installing it not an easy job. Here I assume, you have installed it and proceed towards the next part of today's video. Please download a tiny utility named at gpedit.msc from deviantart.com. Please look into description to find the download link. Now extract it after having downloaded this tiny utility. You will find a setup file after having extracted it. Double click on it to kickstart the installation. After having installed it, go to Partition C. Open up Windows folder. Now open up folder named syswow64. Here you will find group policy and group policy users folders. Copy both folders and click back button. Search for system32 folder and paste folders inside system32 folder you have copied from syswow64 folder earlier. Click continue. Congratulations, all the process is done. You can now use the Group Policy Editor or GP Edit. To access Group Policy Editor, you will have to go to SysWow64 folder. I do hope you have solved this problem by following today's tutorial. Please do let me know if you run into any problem or ask anything. I could not explain well. You may use the comment section to ask your questions and share your precious thoughts and suggestions. Stay tuned, stay blessed, and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share.